There was a contract issue recently with the Alpine Formula One team, which involved 21-year-old Oscar Piastri. The contract recognition board stepped in to resolve the contract issue, and it was not in favor of Alpine Formula One. Having replaced Piastri with Gasly, what does Safnauer have to say about the change? Also, what does the CEO of McLaren have to say about signing rookie Piastri? Keep watching this video for answers to these questions. Firstly, Piastri notes a noticeable difference after making his debut in the McLaren 2022 vehicle. Oscar Piastri acknowledges that after driving a 2022 F1 car for the first time in the Abu Dhabi postseason test, he sensed a noticeable difference. The Australian, who will make his F1 debut with McLaren in 2023, joined his new team for testing at the Yas Marina circuit, where he made his F1 debut at the wheel of this year's car. Piastri had already tested for Alpine throughout the season in a 2021 spec vehicle. I'm here at my first F1 test, super excited. and he also had one day of driving time in a vehicle from McLaren. Piastri expressed his reflections on the experience following his first race in a 2022 car, after spending a year off the track following his 2021 Formula 2 championship triumph. When questioned by the media, notably RacingNews365.com, about the differences between the 2021 and 2022 cars, Piastri responded, saying that he believes there is unquestionably a good difference, a discernible difference. He said that one can see the extra weight in the slow speed curves, and in some ways, it reminds him a little bit more of an F2 car, just based on the rigidity and certain other basic features of the vehicle. He then said that the older F1 car is still much, much closer in terms of overall performance. So, while there is a slight variation, it is still an F1 vehicle. Piastri believed that it was more difficult to evaluate his experience with the tires. Piastri said that it was a little bit tough to explain, in his opinion, because the cars themselves differ so greatly in a variety of ways. He believes the Academy tires are definitely a little bit more user-friendly in some situations, but a little bit worse in other settings, so it was a little difficult to get a read. However, he said that he doesn't really know anything different about the 18-inch F1 tires that he drove. They persisted on the vehicle and made me keep moving around. Oscar Piastri praises his awesome day with McLaren. Staying for Pyre, um, a little laps, very cool day. Uh, nice to be back out again finally, um, and yeah, learnt a lot. Piastri acknowledges that there are still some characteristics of the car to get used to. The young man, 21, said that he wouldn't say it was entirely natural, but he doesn't think any car is entirely natural. He then said that being able to adapt is, in his opinion, one of the challenges of the sport. Compared to the F2 vehicle, F3 car, and the 2021 car that he drove, it is unquestionably different. Piastri said that it needs to be changed more or less every year, and since cars are always improved, one could need to adjust at any time of the year. He said that there were a few things that need a little tweaking, but nothing was totally foreign. Overall, Piastri found working with his new team to be a positive experience as they get ready for the 2023 season. He remarked that it was a cool feeling. He then said that it is a very different feeling from the young driver test he took last year since he understood that was more or less simply a day to have fun in an F1 car, whereas this year, clearly, it's a stepping stone towards next year. Piastri said that getting to know everyone on the team on his first day with McLaren was amazing. It was quite exceptional, and he is hoping to get better and catch up for next year. What did McLaren CEO have to say about Piastri joining McLaren? According to Zach Brown, recruiting Oscar Piastri, a rookie in Formula 1, was a calculated risk for McLaren. The 21-year-old raced for McLaren for the first time last week in the final Abu Dhabi test of the season. A power unit sensor issue there caused a lengthy interruption, but he still managed to log more than 100 laps before addressing the media for the first time in Papaya. Piastri enters Formula 1 as the best qualified young driver in a generation, with a record that even Lewis Hamilton can't match. After a two-year relationship that didn't work out as either party had hoped, he gets into Daniel Ricciardo's car. There's a risk involved in switching from an eight-time race winner to a driver who has never competed in a Grand Prix, but it is a calculated risk. Zach Brown, CEO of McLaren Racing, told SpeedCafe.com that everything in Formula One is a calculated risk, but they are fairly hopeful. Therefore, he will just keep working and offer him the assistance they believe he needs. He then said that if they didn't have a strong case of assurance that he would succeed, they wouldn't have made the choice they did. Comparing Piastri to the man he replaces, they are completely different people. Piastri is more reticent than his outgoing compatriot, despite both of them being extremely determined and dedicated. Brown said that he doesn't think they want to fabricate who Piastri is or his personality. He thinks people just need to get to know him. The accusations made against him by Otmar Safnauer and Alpine, in his opinion, have been regrettable. As the controversy involving his contract played out, Piastri's conduct
conduct was questioned by his former team manager. Famously, the Melbournian rejected Alpine's invitation to join the squad in 2023. The Contract Recognition Board ultimately heard the case, and it reached a majority decision in favor of McLaren. However, Alpine spoke out on the subject, whilst Piastri and his new employer kept mute. The Australian's allegiance and ethics were questioned by Sofnauer, who also suggested that he had acted improperly. Of course, it has since come to light that he did not, and when he signed a contract with McLaren, he was a free agent. It was a wise choice, because it gave the rookie a drive that was more competitive than the Williams loan that Alpine had offered. After surviving that ordeal, Brown is unconcerned that it has negatively impacted Piastri's reputation, and is confident that his young driver's personality will soon emerge. Regarding the mudslinging that took place during the contract dispute, Brown said that the truth is starting to come out in that sense. He then said that people just need to stop putting pressure on Piastri and let him speak for himself and let his on-track results speak for themselves. Brown said that it is similar to Lando's case. Lando was not created by them. As he became used to the sport, he formed himself. So, in his opinion, they should refrain from applying pressure or attempting to create Here's Oscar. Let Oscar just be Oscar, and his accomplishments, and who he is over time will speak for themselves. What did Safnauer have to say about getting Gasly instead of Piastri? The Australian rookie signed a deal with McLaren to replace Daniel Ricciardo, which caught Alpine off guard. Alpine had planned for reserve driver Piastri to fill Fernando Alonso's vacant seat, who was leaving for Aston Martin. Due to the subsequent backlash, Alpine was forced to look for a successor after the F1 contract recognition board decided in Piastri and McLaren's favor. The Frenchman Gasly was chosen, whose contract with Red Bull was terminated, and Nick de Vries, a rookie, took his position at AlphaTauri. Safnauer asserted at Sunday's Abu Dhabi season finale that Alpine has benefited more from F1's most notably silly season tail because Gasly is a better driver than Piastri would ultimately prove to be. Safnauer responded to Autosport's inquiry on the politics around the driver switch. He said that they had to go through a procedure between thinking Oscar had a contract with them and the contract recognition board indicating otherwise. They had to visit the CRB in order to receive a resolution. Since opposing viewpoints frequently arise in real life, there are bodies that adjudicate disputes. Safnauer said that let's see how they do the following year. He said he is glad that Esteban Okun and Pierre made a better driving team than they would have if we had won that case. He said that Gasly is more experienced and still young. Time will tell, but he believes it will tell sooner rather than later. When asked if Okun and Gasly will prove to be a more effective driver pairing than Okun and Alonso this year, Safnauer said, that's a good question. This year, they had a fantastic driver partnership, and Fernando did an amazing job and is still very quick. Safnauer said that he has no idea when Fernando will raise his hand and announce that it is time to leave. It's difficult for him to speculate because he is unsure of when it will occur. He then said that he is pleased with their driver combination, but if he is asked that question next year, he will give his opinion. We will now come to the end of this video. What do you think of the contract issue involving Oscar Piastri? What do you think his future with McLaren will look like? Let us know your opinions in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.